Hello and welcome creatives. Miss Nikki here from Studio CIA Classes. And today we've got the most adorable little panda. He's floating in the air on a heart balloon. It's coming up on Valentine's Day, but you could totally change up the shape or even what he's floating on. Start with your paper taller than wide. We're gonna start with its little head towards the middle of our paper, maybe a little higher. I like to start with a smooth circle. And then I go over the top of that with my zigzag line to give him the furry look. Get something like this. We're gonna add some ears next. Again, you can start with a smooth shape of a rainbow or you can just go for the zigzags. You could even do a smooth panda. I just love furry animals, so I like to add the fur as kind of messy and bedheadish. Let's give our panda a cute little face. Because it's Valentine's, I did a heart mouth. A little oval nose. And I did window eyes. Then like an arch. We're gonna add one line in there to keep it white. This will be the dark part of his eye, the background, the color of his eye, and his pupil. You could add eyelashes or eyebrows if you wanted to. I also added little cheeks because I thought they were cute. You could add freckles, really anything you can think of. We're gonna add the sides of his belly, leaving a gap for his arms. Imagine bears, they're kind of chunky, so we want it kind of rounded. And then from this corner, this arm is going up and reaching for the balloon. So I again, use a smooth line, kind of create that shape. And then I'll go on top of that and add the zigzags. This arm is just hanging, enjoying the ride into the sky. I did not do anything special with the paws. I just left them as is. The panda has dark arms, so it's gonna make it hard to see any details on that anyways. The legs are similar to the arms. I suppose technically it's a bear, they're all legs. I usually do not add a zigzag down here. You can, sometimes I do, it just depends. Sometimes I just do a smooth line. And I do smooth on the bottom edge of their paws too. Now we need to add the markings that separate the black and white parts of our panda. It goes across the chest here. It almost looks like a Pooh Bear shirt. And then the legs kind of go up and in a curve, which always makes it look like it's wearing a little diaper and it's an adorable baby. We're ready to add our balloon. I did multiple heart shapes and I did not worry about perfection. Add a little tie at the bottom of your balloon. And then we're gonna bring our string back to our hand of our little guy. And we're gonna add a couple lines because I'm gonna imagine he's got it twisted around his hand. So we've got it kind of twisted up there and then a string just hanging down. Now, if you're ready to see the next step of this drawing, head on over to part two where we're gonna outline and fill in the dark parts of our panda and really make it come to life. If you're ready to color and outline or paint, Go for it. Check out the next drawing on our channel.